And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. We have another snowy day ahead of us across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. There is a winter weather advisory in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. This is for the upper Snake Highlands, even for the eastern Highlands, and also into western Wyoming, including Island Park, Driggs, Jackson, even as far south as Montpelier. Anywhere from about 1 to 12 inches of snow is possible, 1 to 3 inches down south by Montpelier. But Soda Springs, Driggs, Jackson, Island Park could see about 4 to 6 inches of snow, and of course the 6 to 12 inches of snow possible possible for the Teton and Grove Out mountain ranges. Radar is indicating some snow falling across eastern Idaho. We did see some fall overnight across Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls. So you could encounter some slick spots and even about a trace of accumulation on the roadways for this morning. So take it a little bit slower out there. We'll see more moisture building in from the northwest and then more moisture will develop as it moves into the highlands and western Wyoming, which is when those heavier bands of snow could develop. But across the Snake River Plain, we'll see periods of snow on and off pretty much on off snow showers throughout the day by about 12 o'clock seeing widespread snow across the highlands in western Wyoming darker shades of white indicating more moderate to heavier bands of snow and then across the Snake River Plain 12 o'clock could see some snow showers across Pocatello even the shades of green and shades of pink indicating maybe even a rain and snow mix later on this afternoon across Pocatello even across the central mountains we'll see snow showers throughout the day by about 7 o'clock across the I-15 corridor looks like like most of the snow is done, but if you are traveling south as temperatures drop, definitely be aware of patches of ice and icy roadways. Put it in motion into about 11 o'clock tonight. A majority of the snow is pretty much done across eastern Idaho, but you could see some lingering snow showers near Soda Springs, Afton, and even by Montpelier. As far as totals go for today for the Snake River Plain, looks like it'll be about a trace to an inch across Pocatello, Idaho Falls. Bench areas could see up to about three inches across the highlands in western Wyoming. Four to six inches for Island Park, Driggs, and then Jackson, three to six inches. So overall, it'll be more of a snowmaker definitely for the mountain passes as well. Temperatures right now favorable for snow, well below freezing across the Snake River Plain. We're seeing the 20s. It's 25 degrees currently in Blackfoot, 25 degrees also in Pocatello, 22 degrees in Rexburg, western Wyoming, seeing the teens out there right now. As we move throughout the day, temperatures actually rise into the mid-30s across the Snake River Plain. And again, periods of snow showers like throughout the day, but a more heavier snow likely across the highlands in western Wyoming. And as we look ahead to this evening, those low temperatures, generally in the teens and the 20s, and it looks like the snow tapers off for most locations by midnight. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers leaves us with a high temperature of 36 degrees today. It'll also be pretty windy out there at times. Expect winds between about 15 to 25 miles per hour. We'll be partly sunny for tomorrow with a high temperature of 34 degrees. More clouds on the way for for Friday across Idaho Falls windy for your area as well winds between about 15 to 25 miles per hour with a high temperature of 32 degrees for today 29 degrees for tomorrow 28 degrees on Friday across the Teton area Jackson Afton and Driggs heavy snow likely for today with a high temperature of 21 degrees 26 degrees with a chance for lingering snow showers for tomorrow and across the central mountains Salmon Chalice and Mackey expect snow showers today with a high temperature of 36 degrees.